Near the beginning, we had a girl named Judy Garland, who was the singer on the show. And um, I remember then we would go into a sketch. And we were doing sketches with Bob and Judy that uh, always kid of the situation. Judy was around 14 years old at the time. I wrote the first sketch, and I remember one of the lines uh, where Bob says, um, you know, what about your friends? Because they were supposed to be going out on a date together. He says, um, uh, do they think um, do they think I'm in the groove? And Judy says, no, but they think you have one foot in it. And that was the way the la- and then another one he says, um, you know, he says you've got to go out with me. He says, uh, uh, my father has a good job, a good steady job. And uh, Judy says, uh, what makes it sure it's so steady? And Bob says, there'll always be garbage, and so forth. But what happened was that she entered into. Now we were doing a joke. Uh, about you would do a way out thing where Bob Hope says, I have just won the Academy Award, and Jerry Colon would say, give me a drag on that before you throw it away, you know? And we started doing that with Judy and the others, and her mother was present all the time, and she realized uh, this was a joke about marijuana. And Judy was making a picture called The Wizard of Oz at the time. So her mother yanked her off the show, and she never went back. Uh, I think she did a guest appearance or so later on, but uh, that was the end of that relationship with Bob and could with Judy see, Garland. Could you see the talent, her talent already there? Did I do what? Did you see her talent already there? Oh, Judy? come on. She was making The Wizard of Oz by that time. Sure. And she wouldn't be on the show if she didn't have the talent and if she couldn't sing. And uh, it was a wonderful, funny relationship between Bob and, and uh, uh, Judy. Very warm. And I, did a, I wrote a lot of the spots for them. 